Hey guys, welcome back to Motivation and Box Trucking. I'm so excited to continue the state trucking series with you all. But before we get into it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you know anyone who's interested in trucking or is currently an owner operator, but is kind of stuck in the rut, be sure to share this video with them so that you can motivate them. So without further ado, let's get right into what's moving Colorado. Colorado is located in the western region of America, and it has the highest average elevation of all the states. Denver is nicknamed the Mile High City because it sits exactly one mile above sea level. Home to the Rocky Mountains, bison, and pine trees, Colorado is the epitome of outdoorsman-style living. Gold, uranium, and molybdenum are all natural materials mined in the state. About 13% of Colorado's energy is wind energy. Let's get into the natural agricultural commodities that impact Colorado's economy. Commodity. A raw material, a primary agricultural product that can be bought or sold, such as copper or coffee. It can also be a useful or valuable thing, such as water or time. The top agricultural commodity in Colorado is cattle and calves, bringing in $4.6 billion, followed by dairy products at $1.3 billion, as well as corn, hay, and other miscellaneous crops. Next, we have exports, which are commodities, articles, or services sold abroad, exiting the state of Colorado. Bringing in over $600 million, and revenue is beef and veal, followed by other plant products, dairy products, and wheat. Being familiar with what Colorado naturally produces and profits from can help you position your logistics company to buy the proper equipment and network with businesses already profiting so you can get a piece of the pie as well. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. Just position yourself and your company to provide transportation services for the items already being moved daily throughout the state. The following items are moved by truck in Colorado. Beef cuts. This can be bone in or boneless, chilled, frozen, or fresh. Knowing this information, when looking for equipment, you should consider a refrigerated truck. Often referred to as reefer trucks, they are designed to maintain specific temperatures to transport fresh and frozen food, pharmaceuticals, beverages, and hazardous materials. The refrigerated portion can be turned off in transporting items that do not require temperature control. Next are medical instruments, including dental and veterinary instruments. Lastly are molybdenum ores. I often go down rabbit holes when researching for videos, and I went down one trying to verify whether or not a hazmat endorsement is required for molybdenum transportation. I came across a mining company who reached out to the U.S. Department of Transportation's Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration to determine if a hazmat endorsement was required by the CDL driver to transport molybdenum, concentrate in bulk by flatbed, if that driver needed to complete specialized hazmat training, and if hazmat placards had to be displayed on the truck. The PHMSA responded that no hazmat endorsement was required for Class 9 materials because the hazmat endorsement satisfied that requirement. As for the placard, it had to be displayed on each bulk package, but not the vehicle, if the freight was not inside of the vehicle. For example, if it was on a flatbed, but if it was being carried inside of the box of a truck or concealed in a trailer, then the placard must be displayed on the vehicle. When transporting natural materials, it may or may not be considered hazmat, depending on the form it is in. Obtaining your hazmat endorsement can help you to avoid all of the confusion and allow you not to miss out on any opportunities. It's better to have it and not need it than to miss out on the load. Amazon has a couple of sort centers in Colorado. Volume at these facilities is not as high as some of the other major cities. However, there does seem to be a decent amount of loads for box trucks available. The two sort centers are COS5 in Colorado Springs, and BDU-5 outside of Denver and Commerce City. Earlier this year, it was announced that Amazon plans to build a new facility in Grand Junction. 
If you're interested in Amazon Relay Strategy, be sure to join us over on the Patreon. All of our Amazon Relay Strategy videos are there, and you can also book a consultation. The links are in the comment pin below. We are going to head on over to cmca.com to the Colorado Motor Carriers Association to check out what events Colorado has in store for its truckers. Safety and compliance are major areas of focus for the CMCA. While exploring the website, you will find the members of the executive committee, in addition to the Ray Smith Scholarship available to graduating high school seniors looking to enter into a technical, diesel, or mechanical trade school or college. Professions such as these are what will continue to build America and keep our society moving forward. Thanks for joining us for another segment of What's Moving, a state trucking series. Be sure to look out for all 50 states. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, share this information with anyone looking to join the industry. Remember, increasing your knowledge fattens your wallets. Until next time, stay safe, and stay motivated.